Hello there and welcome back to our let's play of, well, Grand Age is Medieval once again folks. I'm your host, PPG Chu, and today we're moving on to episode 5, I believe, inside the series. So, um, as some of you guys have recommended, we will be rescheduling, or restructuring rather, our trade routes. And, well, that said and all, we will get that started shortly. So, just to talk a little bit about the, 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 the way that we're going to do this, um, there's a few things that we might want to discuss set up here to kind of expedite our trading so firstly uh we we probably want to buy over the towns of leads and stuff like that um soon enough how and how i believe this works is that we can demand uh a sympathy from them once this meter goes up to about i would say 90 or yeah 95 ish percent i believe then you can demand the the town from them as odd as it is i mean you need the uh, the, the popularity uh, listed up above here to be quite high and you also need the sympathy or it's 80 percent so that's that um so that's one thing we should probably work into the other thing being the uh, the marketplaces and all set up uh right over here and there's a few different ideas that we or you know things that we can do inside this area a um it might be be worth our while to establish a new town somewhere somewhere in you know what is equivalent to what is the equivalent of uh, Ireland over here uh, preferably another thing from mining and another thing that we could do is we should probably say yeah install a few uh, uh, routes in kind of mainland England over here uh, the main thing is that right now might be profitable say from making a convoy going from Perth to Glasgow and to to London solely those areas and or making one that kind of goes down this uh, you know inverted L if you will uh, or you know invert or slightly bent line if you will going down through here kind of bring uh, the metal um, into into Glasgow into Leeds and then hopefully there will be still some for London or something of the line like that um, so let's get started with that the other thing being that we can also go in development hopefully later on and well um, don't recall this mounted archer unit being present here um, but I'm pretty sure someone else has been keeping track of that. But uh, anyhow, we could also level up trade here as well, which would unlock manual trading, which uh, you know might contribute to 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 our system over here. Right, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get through. Where is my unit tab? There we go. Setting up trade convoys. So starting off, I think that you know what Edward Davis over here. He is already routed throughout the uh, the network like that. He's carrying the most capacity. So honestly, I think I'll let him continue to to do his business here. Um, so yeah, he he cycles things directly throughout, and that I think works well or at least decently well. In the meantime, I think we'll change up Henry Smith's route over here. Let's see what this copy route button actually does because it doesn't seem to work all too well. Anyhow, um, what I think I'll get him to do is to kind of bounce back and uh, forth from here London, solely stacking up things from there and getting medals and all uh, shoveled back and forth. So let's see, James Taylor, we could also have him, say, going into the, in the other direction, cycling goods around, and then maybe having uh, John White where someone cycle solely, solely up above here or something like such like that. Yeah, I think that would work out. So that said, let's get, uh, let's get a trade route like this. How about we, no, we don't want London. Get rid of that. Are you kidding me? Do you have to start from... Okay, no, there we go. Now it works. I was going to say, it's worried that it would uh, solely be around or, you know, solely cycle around from, from the location that the, uh, the trader is present at, which would kind of suck. But there we go. That should get that organized. James Taylor over here, checking out his route. He's been bounding all the way across. So in that case, we could get him to cycle through, say, the bottom portions of London, um, where, you know, the bottom portion of the Isles are really, and do something like dead. that. And I guess that will help us out there. And right, we've already st structured his route, so we'll get him to do his thing. And last, 
Lee, I think we have, yeah, Richard Cole over here. His trade route is also going all across. In this case, I think we should uh, probably, you know, start to uh, get someone to run through these areas. So I think, um, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll do something like here that. We we'll go. get someone else to cycle through these two or these uh, areas here. So um, I think we have that more or less set up and that should be, uh, yeah, pretty much it for there. Now, in the meantime, I noticed that this round is, uh, has been reactivated, so we probably should deal with that. And in the meantime, where is uh, the rest of our army? Uh, from the looks of it, we've stationed them inside Derry. We'll pull Let's them back to, to London. And right, so now the trade routes have been set up. They should do their thing. Um, looks like there's some more bandits present around the map. Okay. Fighting near the shore. Let's see what that does. Fighting inside of forest slash slash shoreline. Looks like that gives us a slight advantage or something of the such. Anyhow, um, we'll let him brawl it out here. And I recall seeing inside a previous episode about some bandits up inside the north over here. So in that case, we, we might want to clear out this area before we send our armies back. Anyhow, for now, we'll let them... Yeah, there's, there's definitely something going on over here. Or, yeah, we'll let them... Or, you know, it automatically switches through, so we'll let them brawl it out. And, right, so that'll happen. That what do these people want? They want a trade agreement. We'll cancel that. Or, you know, we won't accept it right now, but we'll let it sweep through. Aye. And there we go. What has happened over here? These people, they're not fleeing. They're simply going on my present order, and I can't shift them across for some reason, but okay. Either way, we'll let them stop uh, stop by London, and well, no, now they go across. Sure, that works out. Alright, I'm guessing there's not you know too much to see here. Though we do have where we have found their bandit camp. Let's get to it. So let's siege that. As you come on. As huh. you come on. So as it turns out they have oddly enough. Oh, this is really weird. Trying to figure out how many troops they have inside that one camp. But I think we'll have to pull back uh, for now. Seeing as how that bandit camp seems to have 600 combat value. Um, and oddly enough, our troops went from having 800 some combat value uh, going down to. Yeah, going down to 200, which is quite strange. But luckily, that's in a. Yeah, that's not in a major area, so I should be able to pull back. And ideally, I'll be able to reinforce uh, a lot of the forces here. So let's get... Uh, no, they're being reinforced. Let's get all of these guys being re... Oh, no, it automatically does that for us. So that works out pretty well. And I think we'll get them to sweep into this area later on. Right, so things are pretty good. I see those... Or I see that something has... Yeah, the wolves have respawned. Because I do distinctly remember clearing them outside of that, or clearing outside that rune. So, uh, now that we have our forces back, let's sweep out the pack of wolves. Maybe it's because we let the uh, the pack of li uh, li live. We'll swarm in here, we'll try to get rid of that. And it might be because not all of these Let's units are necessarily participating. And yeah, the, the den goes away uh, once again. So, in that case, Let's I think move. we just ship the army back, really, and try to clear out that village once again. Or clear out the bandit camp once again. So there, they'll gradually do that. And in the meantime, how is the merchant camp doing? This trade route is extremely profitable, so that's pretty good. Over here, the shipment from London to uh, to to Perth is doing or is going pretty well. This one's going pretty well. This one is a little lackluster. I'm guessing simply because it's uh, it's kind of redundant, bouncing in between those settlements down there. But I guess you know what. Um, It'll have to make do. Right, and we'll try this again. And we're going to watch it this time, because last time... Yeah, it seems as though we have a very small amount of combat power doing these sieges. That or... Or never mind, our number isn't red that time. I forgot to read the bottom text. Um, okay, so that's kind of weird. 
seeing as how during regular combat your our text would always be in um yeah in green. But either way, it's a quick victory. Destroyed the camp, found some commodities, and we earned some cash out of that, so that's not too bad. Right. So we'll post uh well yeah, so we'll post the army back in London and take in a look at uh what we have here for settlers. We can move them out. And there's a neat thing you can do with settlers here. You can take a look at if yeah, if you hold down alt, um, it will show you a wide variety of different things. So for example, you can't build your cities on near coasts or you know areas. I think, or I think this doesn't necessarily apply to coasts only. I think it's just simply areas where the city won't build because yeah, not enough space for the the, uh, the little actual city. And in the meantime, yeah, we can take a look at, so from uh, from my guess, how far our units can kind of move away from our empire um, and the different, yeah, resource hotspots, if you will, for uh, for other goods. So coming over here, there's a bit of, um, or actually this area is not bad, not bad at all. I see pottery, I'm guessing, grapes, um, furs, and, well, coal, which isn't, yeah, which is pretty good. Now... Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't believe coal is... Well, I swear something in dairy used coal, but I'm pretty sure coal isn't solely for producing tools. I'm pretty sure it also factors into a few other things. Just going to check that out for, for a second here. Or no, maybe it is. Hmm. But either way, I think grabbing some more... Some more wine doesn't hurt. It's not, say, the best resource to produce, but definitely not bad. Furs wouldn't be bad either, but uh, our, again, we already have a lot of supply for that. Um, in that case, yeah, honey would be nice. Does this area produce honey? No? Okay. Well, in that case, we're no, maybe it does. Maybe, uh, we're, you know, it really depends on how close that border is, where, you know, what uh, what is within the borders of it. Sounds good. So let's see. Yeah, what would you look at that? And the game also gives us recommendations for zones. On the as way. we move, uh, yeah, as we move our little camp around. Right, so I'm guessing the, uh, ah, that actually throws, uh, throws a few off. things into our plan. Right, so I'm guessing, you know, yeah, we can probably, uh, we can get, we can get some coal, some, some of the wines, some of the honeys over here. On the way. But there's no way we'll we will be able to get all of those resources under one roof. So taking a look at that, um, we already have, let's see, we only have one place producing honey. Uh, we have, again, one place producing furs. Technically, it doesn't really matter that much because at the end of the day, we can build an absurd amount of uh, buildings. We, we seem to use a lot of coal, so it might be worthwhile building that up and getting a few more depositories for it. But the other thing being, we already have two deposits of it in north and south, so it, it's, say, not critical. Hmm. In we that case, I think I'll move over here. We'll grab the wine, and we'll grab the, uh, the coal and the honey. And currently, um, yeah, we'll try to use up those resources and skip over some of the other ones. So let's put Galway over here. And we'll settle that down. In the inn, we will buy another settler. And we'll further our expansion. We'll come uh, over here into this area and hopefully set up some profitable or more profitable trade routes inside that area to the, towards the south. Right. And in the meantime, let's get uh, Galway connected to Derry. Build a minor road like that. Build one to Dublin. And one to Hereford, hopefully? No? Okay, fair enough. In that case, I would like to build a road connected from Galway to the uh, to the ferry over here, but I don't have the option, which really, really sucks. So in that case, we'll leave it be. And right, in the meantime, we could also, or yeah, we could upgrade the roads. I'll probably upgrade these dirt roads first. And you know what, actually? Yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get all roads to, to to, to be upgraded and we'll just let that one upgrading uh, yeah troop do its thing so now speed up the game for a second see where our merchant is 
Yeah, there we go. Grab him. Nope. Uh, let's see. Start from dairy, go around like that. And yeah, that should be good. And we'll get him set up once again for more trade to happen like that. Right, so over here, let's produce some honey. Let's pursue some of that. Have a thing uh, where I think they, they're already producing enough grains, but grain and beer is also a decent combination. So now, let's see. Let's see. I'll get them to produce those two things first. Tab in here. Uh, we do produce cloth, so naturally producing some clothes will be pretty good. And oh, would you look at that? We have furs and cloth coming from um, from from dairy. Those will be supplied to Galway to produce some clothes. So that's perfect. That's kind of you know right on the dot for things that we want as a chain. And oh, would you look at that? There's also some wool from Glassglow, so that helps out things, especially from um, from the from the from the supply network here. So all right, so we do have James Taylor servicing these two areas. We have uh, Edward Davis, which is supplying these or we're kind of uh, connecting all the cycles together so in that case uh things should be pretty good well let's optimize this even more and while i'm not a fan of it because i'm under the impression you get slightly worse prices in inside some of the other towns in, in the towns that you don't control but Cycling between yeah these these uh the these towns these four I think would be slightly better we can pick up some of the some of the 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 tier two and some of the the odd resources in Leeds and Hereford and then we can cycle them to Dublin and Glasgow to to push them up to Derry and stuff so that's not too bad so yeah that should be pretty good they're probably missing some wool and uh, let's see. And over here, lastly, let's, um, lastly, I think we should just more or less build uh, grain and beer and get the, the town set up like that. Yeah, because, I mean, well, we have two places going on down here. I mean, producing a lot of booze and stuff will, will take a lot of grain. So either way, I think that pretty much sets up the town. And we'll let the game clock run. All right, I'm going to pause one second. As you may have noticed, uh, the sound inside or the background, so noise inside this video might be a little bit quiet. It is for me. Um, that's this. Yeah, I can't really tab out the game with the thing recording, so I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. Not really sure if that makes uh, a, a really big difference, but uh, should help. Okay. So I think we have the town mostly set up. Now it's time to queue up some build orders for it. And because we have the amount of goods needed, really, we'll just queue up uh, right around yeah, three of these locations each. Let the let the merchants and the people start to fill up its supply, uh, supplied needs. And um, yeah, and then we'll just go forwards from there. Right, so in the meantime, I think it's time that we build a few inns and later on grab a few churches inside these different towns and get things uh, set up like that. So, I mean, we're still missing the tools uh, being shuttled back and forth. So we'll probably need to keep better track of the tools over here. I'm guessing London has a stockpile of them, a decent stockpile of them, but nevertheless, I mean, trading with... Um, yeah, places like Bristol and all tools are still 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 very high in demand. So that is something that we still should probably work upon. And uh, yeah, and to you know get Perth up to speed. So we'll try to do that in the meantime. And in addition to that, we will let's uh, let's go to the inns and let's continue building uh, a few carts. And ideally, it would be nice if the, the game kind of allowed you to build carts from any place and to just have, kind of have them inside the central pool of, uh, of different things. That would be really, really nice. Why can I not click on this trader? No. Oh, well, in that case, we'll let them run. Let's take a look at what is, uh, you know, what is what, what, what's actually happening inside this city right over here, it looks like have a humble band of settlers over here. They're just starting 
Uh, well, development over there. And okay, so this route is still very, very profitable. They are actually shipping a lot of a lot of tools. So again, um, I'm under the impression a lot of our stuff is floating around to yeah to uh, to these neutral towns. All right, so the bandits are back over here. Let's get to it. I truly hope that the uh, yeah the settlements over here they don't constantly resupply uh, bandits right so taking a look at over here Aye. would you look at that got another bandit keep that we got to root out and I'm pretty sure this one wasn't here last time but there we go we've rooted that out and I think we visited this before yeah it is uh, yeah it is a yeah, I guess we've already visited that, but that was a veteran's camp, which could teach your troops, you know, a thing or two, but it looks like we already used that up or something of the such. Okay. How are we doing here? They're just missing bricks, which we have a ton of in, in London and area. And oh no, it looks like the, pra the plague has hit Leeds now. Either way, that is more of a random event than anything else, um, at least from, for, from what I can tell. So, yeah, I don't know, just happen and go away, uh, kind of as time allows, really. How are we doing up here? Still having a shortage of bricks. Do we produce any bricks up here? No, we don't produce any bricks. Right, so in that case, um, that might require, yeah, Edward Davis here to make the run for those goods, bring them over here, and then kind of shuttle them off. Right, so that's, you know, it's not too bad, but it's not great. And now, in the meantime, let's take a look at London. And I'm pretty sure we built a new settler. Doesn't look like one came out, so in that case, I guess we have it. In that case, we'll build another one right now. And, uh, yeah, and grab another uh, settlement in, in some time here. Huh, I guess I could get one of these merchants to start dropping off carts. Yeah, you know what? We'll saddle Henry Smith up with a few more uh, things like that. And there we go. So now he's starting to work. Or now he should be bringing the carts around. Shouldn't be bad at all. Get you to stop at London. Put five carts on you. And how are we doing for funds here? Okay, so it looks like we're losing a slight amount of cash on that run. On these runs, things uh, seem to be good. How is this run over here? We're making about 100, losing about 12. And we're making... Uh, it's hard to tell over here, but I'm guessing we're keeping up. Either way, yeah, again, I would... You know, one thing that I would really like to see is these uh, these activate routes, they being kind of averages for maybe five years, where, you know, five or ten uh trip uh, like cycles if you will 10 iterations seeing as how currently it's a bit ambiguous as to you know how much cash your your places are actually making all right but in the meantime from the looks of things we can develop some more stores uh in london proper to build some more things especially in bricks and over here how are we doing for other things Guessing we're good, we're, you know, still good for, for some things. Other things, not so much. And again, tool production seems to be uh, the the core of our business. But I think I'll wait for us to build up some cash reserves before I make any more stalls. So that'll be kind of phase two. Or phase two. Phase, phase tools sure. as well. And right... And after that, I think we'll, it'll be time to settle a brand new thing over here. Let's take a look. So, lots of metals over here. Kind of right into, uh, yeah, the, the lands of these people. But not so much anywhere else. Looks like they're built up upon some, uh, some coal reserves, but they don't use it. Could settle kind of right outside of them. Likewise over here. Um, what else do we have? Lots of honey. Lots of areas with honey. And over here, this is just kind of a barren forest right over here. 
How are we doing inside the mountains? Uh, cool. huh. Could place a town around the sides of yeah that area, and this would allow us to get some more um, some more metal and things going. But the only problem is that of, is of course it is quite far away, quite far away from the rest of things, the rest of the. On the way. Everything practically. Yeah, so that this town right over here, this would set us up for more expansion into this area of the world. But again, very very far away from any anything else here. Um, it does lend us to you know pressing towards Europe and all that, but it is considerably farther than anything we've settled before. So you know what? I think we'll do it. I think we'll set that up. We'll make it so that, yeah, the, the transports will have to go through our little settlement over here. Produce a lot of metals and all that. Produce a lot of, uh, yeah, metal wares. And I think lastly, we'll bake this up to be a, a bit more of a long-term settlement. In the sense that we'll set it up with one of each uh, stores right over here. We'll get a road built towards it as, uh, as well, well, when we can. And yeah, we'll get uh, things going from there. Right, so that's one thing. Over here they need uh, the more bricks for, for building up the roads in Derry and Galway. In that case, I'm going to cancel building this for now. And in the meantime, we're going to get a construction or, you know, get them to build the road magically from Strasbourg to London to get that set up. So, in the meantime, we still have another settler. It looks like this was the unit. I didn't see that earlier, so we'll take him up. Uh, we'll place them somewhere along the route over here so he can get another settlement uh, going. In the meantime, from the looks of things, we need to wait a bit for our trade income to increase before we can do anything drastic. So, we'll let that do its thing. See when we can hopefully recruit another uh, trader. And yeah, we'll get another cycle to to go from uh, from down there. How are we doing for the rest of the goods right now? Honey is really uh, well in demand, but we have that going. Have the other things going, but we just need two things: kind of more merchants and more supply throughput. Let's see. So Henry Smith, he is operating well in margin. James Taylor should be also working reasonably within margin. So yeah, it looks like uh, it really just comes down to towards uh, John White up here and Richard Cole, the people cycling between these areas. All right. So in that case, uh, let's see. Probably going to get some more uh, convoys going here. Stop by. There's zero in town. I'm guessing there's still some in Bristol, so we'll get those... Ah. Really should facilitate better things for those caravans, but I guess we'll build up uh, some more right over here. I'm guessing Perth, at the very least, has an inn, yep. And with Perth, I'm gonna get, uh, yeah, Perth to connect those five up to the trade caravan up here. In the meantime, let's figure out where we want to settle up a new city. Honey and pottery, not bad. Honey and furs um, is a bit better. We're shedding off. Hmm. I think we might want to settle up here. On the grab way. the honey. Grab the uh, grab the pottery as well. A beautiful land. And yeah, over here they don't seem to have a supply of pottery. So if we command if we command uh, or connect Strasbourg to Amens to Caen, and then maybe one more uh, town down here that would also connect uh, or you know make another section of the map for us. So in that case, we'll get something set up like that. And for now, though, I think it'll be just London bounce uh, bounce goods to Amens uh, to Strasbourg or no, you know what? Um, go London, build up uh, the construction town and then wrap that around back for yeah, something like that and oh ah, damn should have assigned some cards to him as well yeah we'll do that next time i guess seeing as how currently we still have uh, yeah a lot of cash we gotta sweep through so yeah we might as well wait that out uh in the meantime i suppose we could use the forces over here to help us out here 
Um, it looks like that wooden shack doesn't have uh, all too much to offer us, so we'll leave that be. Let's see whether or not we can loot some cash, perhaps. Let's see what we can find. Ah, there we go. Found some clothing. Generated us massive amounts of cash. That is what I like to see. Over here, found some bricks. Very, very useful, especially towards Strasbourg. That's going to give us um, some stuff there. Looks like we fought, we're finding, we fought some, uh, found an obelisk. Found some bandits and their treasure, I guess, so we'll brawl it out with them. And perfect, that gives us enough cash to staff all of, the, uh, all of our things over here. Right, let's get John White to uh, go to Perth. Get him the amount of cards he needs. And we'll get him to ship back right away, carrying a lot more stuff. We'll get something similar going from there soon enough. Alright, well that isn't too bad. So I think we'll end the episode here, and when we return we will continue our Let's Play of, well... Uh, Grand Ages Medieval. So see you guys in the next episode.